Hi again, folks. Pete Lane. Welcome to another episode in our iPhone 101 series. Today we're going to discuss a feature within the text replacement function in our iOS settings app. For a little bit of background, Jeff had done a demonstration of the text replacement feature. Jeff demonstrated how to create shortcuts consisting of two to three letters or characters that would in turn type out a full phrase, email address, or some other text that would then populate whatever text field you happen to be in at the time. And I would encourage you to listen to it immediately following this particular demonstration. But for now, I want to add an additional feature that I think blind users of iPhones and iPads should consider, specifically how to create a shortcut for an emoji. I, like many of you, have been resistant to the use of emojis because emojis are graphics and are therefore visual depictions of thoughts or feelings from the sender. But in this day and age, I believe that it's in our best interest to use such graphics, emojis, in our communications. This puts us on a level playing field with the sighted population and can do nothing but help us in the long run in terms of our credibility as communicators. That being said, it's a very simple process, so let's get started. We will first go to our Settings app. Settings. Single finger double tap. Settings. Now we will go down to General. General. Button. Single finger double tap. About. Button. And now we will flick down to Keyboard. Keyboard. Button. Single finger double tap. Keyboards, two, button. You may recognize this screen from the one we focused on in my previous demonstration regarding period shortcut and auto capitalization. But for this particular feature, we're going into text replacement button. Our text replacement screen, single finger double tap. Section index, adjustable. Now before we get into the specifics, let's just explore this screen. I'll flick to the right. Text replacement, heading, add button. Search, search field. Our search field will allow us to search in our current library of shortcuts that we have already created for the keyboard. I'll keep flicking to the right. Section index, adjustable. A section index is an adjustable feature that we call a picker item. By picker, that means we can navigate through different values of whatever picker we're dealing with. In this case, it's our alphabetical index of current shortcuts already created in the text replacement screen. For example, cap G. Now it starts with the letter G, which merely indicates that I don't have any current shortcuts in the letters A through F. Now I'll flick to the right and see what we have under the letter G. GM, PSLA 7625 at gmail.com. You heard voiceover say GM. That's my shortcut. By shortcut, I mean that when we are in a text field, if I type the letters GM followed by the space bar, then it will populate that text field with a phrase or other communication that I want to convey. The second thing you heard is an email address. That particular email address will be inserted into the text field when I type in the letters GM followed by the space bar. This saves me the time and trouble of having to type in a lengthy email address on a particular website or elsewhere. Saves a little bit of time. I'll continue flicking to the right. H heading. Let's see what we have under our letter H. Me, one, two, two, four, one. Jacksonville, FL. Now, we did not hear all of that, so I'm going to turn my rotor to characters to give you a clearer picture of what the shortcut is. Characters. There's characters. Now, I'll flick down and go one character at a time. H. M. E. H. M. E. That's my quick abbreviation for home. As I type H. M. E. in the text field, again, followed by the space bar, the text field will be populated automatically with my home mailing address. I have concealed a bit of that home mailing address just to safeguard my own privacy. I'll go down to the letter Y, which is my last shortcut. M. P. S. L. A. N. E. 7625 at yahoo.com. Well, we heard an indecipherable shortcut followed by another email address. So since I'm already in my characters menu item in my rotor, let's see what M represents, shall we? Y. M. Comma. Y. M. This happens to represent the shortcut for my Yahoo mail account. So, I'm through the alphabetical index. By now, you should have the picture of some of the shortcuts I have created in the past. Let's flick to the right and see if there's anything else on this screen that we need to pay attention to. Toolbar. Edit. Button. Yeah, there's an edit button. So, if I wanted to go back in and modify any of these particular shortcuts, I would double tap on this edit field, and then it would allow me to go in and make changes and save those changes. But for now, since we want to show you how to create shortcuts for emoji communications, let's go back up to the top of the screen. I'll use my four finger single tap on the top half of the screen to get there. Keyboards, back button. And there's my top most element. I'll flick to the right with one finger. Text replacement, heading. There's our heading. Add button. Here's our add button. Since we're adding new shortcuts, I'm going to go ahead and double tap here. Add 
Phrase, text field, is editing, character mode, insertion point at start. You heard voiceover say add phrase, so I will double tap with one finger just to be sure that my insertion point is firmly set within the text field. Insertion point at end. Okay, now the phrase is the set of words that we want communicated when we input our shortcut. So in this case, that means emojis. So as you know, when we enter a text field, the on-screen virtual keyboard appears. So I'm going to touch at the bottom of the screen where that keyboard should be present. Space. There's our space bar. Now I want to get to our emoji categories, so I'll flick to the right. Return. Emoji. Button. There we go. Two flicks to the right. We have emoji button. We'll do a single finger double tap here. Next keyboard. English. U.S. It automatically toggled to my other virtual keyboard, which is my regular U.S. keyboard. Let me flick to the left now and see what we have in our emoji population. Flags category. We have our categories list. The first of which, as I flick to the left, is flags category. Continuing. Symbols category. Symbols. Objects category. Objects. Travel and places category. Travel and places. Activity category. Activity. Food and drink category. Animals and nature category. Smileys and people category. Selected, frequently used category. And here's our frequently used category. So I'm going to go back to food and drink category. Our food and drink category. I'll double tap with one finger. Selected, food and drink category. Okay. Now as I flick to the left, we will literally have dozens and dozens of individual emoji graphics. Let's give it a try. Food and drink. Rice cracker, 758. Wow. That represents our last emoji, number 758 of them. Cooked rice, 757. We won't go through all of these, but I want to go to the very top of this category. Phrase, text field, is editing, character mode, insertion point at start. So I touch up in the middle of the screen and I'm back into my phrase text field. Let me continue flicking to the right so we can get to the beginning of the emojis. Search emoji, text field. Here's our search field, which should cut down our exploration considerably. I'll do a single finger double tap to set my insertion point. Insertion point at end. Now, an emoji that I see very frequently is a graphic representing champagne glasses. Obviously, a celebratory communication. So let me go ahead and dictate champagne glasses. I will initiate my dictation with a two-finger double tap. Champagne glasses. Inserted champagne glasses. And I did another two-finger double tap to stop the dictation. Now let's flick to the right and see what we have presented to us. Clear text. Button. Clinking champagne glasses. One clinking champagne glasses, and you heard the number one. This would indicate to me that there is more than one emoji that includes some kind of a graphic depicting champagne glasses. Let's flick to the right and see what that means. Two, three. Well, you hear numbers, but you don't hear any voiceover description. So for simplicity's sake, we'll go back to the number one, flicking left. Clinking champagne glasses, one. And I will double tap here with one finger. Clinking champagne glasses, one. Okay, now you heard voiceover repeat it. Let's see what that did. Did it populate our text field above in which we were asked to present a phrase? Phrase, text field, is editing. Clinking champagne glasses emoji, character mode, insertion point at end. There's our phrase text field, and as you heard, clinking champagne glasses has been populated for us. So now, I need to come up with a shortcut that will save me time and effort to convey that emoji in my next text message or email or Facebook post. So let's flick to the right. Shortcut, optional, text field. Here's our text field. Once again, I'll do a single finger double tap to set my insertion point. Insertion point at end. A little tip on creating shortcuts. First of all, we want it to be brief, so it does in fact save us time and effort. Two characters, perhaps three. Secondly, we don't want those two or three characters to be the first three letters of a word that we might otherwise use in a normal sentence without respect to an emoji. So since we're dealing with champagne glasses, let's try CG as our shortcut. C. G. Now I'll touch back up toward the middle of the screen to get back to that text field. Shortcut. Text field is editing. CG. Character mode. Insertion point at end. As we heard, CG has been populated. So now we need to find our save button. I'll go to the top of the screen and look for that button. Text replacement. Heading. Save button. There it is. Save button. I'll perform a single finger double tap. Save. Let's try another one just to be sure. Add button. Add. Phrase. Text field. Is editing. Character mode. Insertion point at start. And it puts us in our phrase text field. So let's go look for an emoji, shall we? I'll go down to the on-screen keyboard. Space. There's our space button. We recall that to get to our emoji list, we need to flick twice to the right. Emoji button. I'll double tap here with one finger. So let's go to our frequently used category this time. I'll flick to the left. Food and drink category. Animals in nature category. Frequently used category. There is frequently used. I'll single finger double tap here. Selected. Frequently used category. Let's touch up toward the middle of the screen and see if we can enter this category from the beginning rather than from the last emoji as we did with the other category at number 758. Champagne glasses. Text field. 
Frequently used studio microphone. One. All right. Here we are entering this category at number one with a studio microphone. Two. Dark sunglasses. Three. Smiling pile of poo. Uh oh. Smiling pile of beep. White cane. There's a white cane emoji. Let's go ahead and set a shortcut for it. So I will single finger double tap to select this as my phrase. White cane emoji. If I touch up here on the top of the screen, we should see our phrase text field populated with the white cane emoji. Phrase text field is editing. White cane emoji. Character mode. Insertion point at end. And there we go. The white cane emoji has been populated. Let's flick to the right to get to our shortcut optional text field. Shortcut text field. I'll double tap to set my insertion point. Insertion point at end. I think a shortcut for white cane emoji would logically be WC. So I'll type WC. WC. Now I'll touch back up here to get to the Shortcut text field is editing WC character mode insertion point at end. So we know now that we need to go to our save button toward the top of the screen. Once again, four fingers single tap toward the top half of the screen. Text replacement back button takes us to the uppermost element on the screen from where I will flick to the right. Text replacement heading save button. There's our save button. I'll double tap. Okay, now I'm going to open my app switcher to toggle over to the messages app where we can test these two new shortcuts. App switcher settings active. WhatsApp active, YouTube active, messages active. There we are, messages. Messages, back button, edit button. Now I'm in my messages app, and I want to send a text message to our blind abilities friend, Jeff Thompson. Conversations, Jeff pinned, actions available. There we have Jeff. I'll go to the bottom of this message list. Message, iMessage, text field. There's my text field. I'll single finger double tap. Message, text field is editing. And I'll begin dictation. Hey Jeff, comma, testing the text replacement feature to communicate emojis, period. Hope this one works, exclamation point. Inserted, hey Jeff, testing the text replacement feature to communicate emojis. Hope this one works. And again, I performed another two-finger double tap to stop the dictation. Now I will go to my on-screen keyboard. First, I want to convey our champagne glasses emoji. Our shortcut was CG. C. G. Now to insert the shortcut, we double tap on the space bar. Space. Clinking champagne glasses emoji. It appears that it has populated our text message with that emoji. Now the second one we want to convey is white cane, the shortcut for which was WC. W C. Followed by the space bar. Space. White cane emoji. There we go. So let's go to our message text field and see what we've got. Message text field is editing. Hey Jeff, testing the text replacement feature to communicate emojis. Hope this one works. Clinking champagne glasses emoji. White cane emoji. And both emojis have been populated. All I need to do now is flick to the right. Send button. Double tap on the send button. Send message. So to review. We have just walked through the navigation to create shortcuts for emojis, which are graphics, i.e. pictures, rather than text words, that we might choose to use in some sort of a future communication. These will be applicable to any text field, whether it's in an email, a text message as we have just demonstrated, a Facebook post, a Twitter post, or any other communication or app where we might find a text field that we want to include emojis. Seeing how simple it is now to create emojis as shortcuts, and in light of the fact that I believe that we need to be communicating on a level playing field with everyone in our world, and not just blind and visually impaired people, I certainly hope that this communication has been helpful to you as well. Today, we're going to be talking about text replacement. This is a shortcut that you can add a large phrase or a commonly used phrase and save you a lot of time. Say you're doing a paper in college and up in the left-hand corner, you have to put a, something that you put there all the time. Make it into a phrase, use a shortcut, boom, there you go. Or if it's an email, tired of putting in an email address with that underscore and the at sign, well, make it into a phrase, put a shortcut, there you go. And this is done in the keyboard settings of your iOS device. So let's open up settings. Settings. Single finger double tap. Let's go to general by a single finger swiping left to right. General. Now I know this is going to go quick and you can come back and listen to it again but basically i know that general is three quarters way down i don't have to swipe all the time you can swipe just to find it you'll get used to it the more and more you use your settings the more you'll know if it's at the bottom or if it's near the top so with this production i cut it all out it sounds like it's going quick but we're just going from settings to general to keyboard and then to text replacement general single finger double tap and then the keyboards swiping left to right keyboard button double tap and we'll go down to text replacement button double tap selected keyboards back button swiping left to right we'll come to add add button double tap and this will drop us into a dialog box where we put the phrase text field is editing word mode insertion point at start so i'm going to put in an email address it's going to be info at 
blindabilities.com. Phrase, text field, is editing. Info at blindabilities.com. So once I type it in, I'll do a single finger swipe to the right, and I land into the shortcut text box. And a great point that Nick D'Ambrosio submitted about the text replacement is don't use a common word, such as email. Don't use email for your email shortcut. As you notice in my example, I'll use something that's familiar with it, but it's usually not two, three, four letters that you'll use in a sentence. Shortcut, optional, text field. And here, I'll put a shortcut that I'll remember, I-N-B-A, which stands for info at blindabilities.com. And then I'll go up and save this. Save button. Once it's saved, we can go down and check to see if it's in our list. Inba, info at blindabilities.com. And there we go, Inba. And by flicking up or down, you can find the delete and get rid of these if you don't need them. Delete. So to test this out, let's go send an email. Let's see if it works. Compose button. Single finger double tap. To text field is editing. I'm just going to put in the I-N-B-A. I-N-B-A. Hit the space bar and I'll check it out. To text field is editing. Info at blindmobilities.com. There it is. Perfect. Now, there's other things you can use this for, like phrases. Here's one I have for a phrase that I'll use at the end of some email or some messages. XC, the only fool bigger than the fool who says he knows it all, is the fool who argues with him. Or some commonly used one throughout the whole year. HP, happy birthday, smiling face. And of course, you can put emojis in there. That should make a lot of people happy. So there you go. So if you find yourself using something repeatedly, go ahead, make a shortcut. Let text replacement put it in there for you. Save yourself some time and move on. And from all of us here at Blind Abilities, through these challenging times, to you, your family, and friends, stay well, stay informed, and stay strong. Thank you so much for listening, and have a great day. When we share what we see through through each each other's other's eyes, eyes, we can then then begin begin to bridge bridge the gap between between the limited limited expectations and the reality reality of blind abilities. abilities. For more podcasts with a blindness perspective, check us out on the web at www.blindabilities.com. On Twitter at BlindAbilities. Download our app from the App Store, BlindAbilities, that's two words. Or send us an email at info at blindabilities.com. Thanks for listening.